Jeopardy! Think you can handle it? Tune in and join the action. Tonight at 6 on UPN Nashville. No, no, no. Option rentals will not be like the other rental companies. No application fee, no delivery fee, no late fee, no reinstatement fee. Hi, I'm Jim Criswell, founder of Option Rentals, and for 19 years, Option Rentals has said no to these fees. Yes, yes, yes. What Option Rentals does have is the largest selection of quality furniture and appliances in the Nashville area. Come by our superstore at 4307 Alabama Avenue or any one of our three convenient locations and see the difference. My phone got disconnected. My phone got disconnected. Phone got disconnected. Has your phone been disconnected? DBI Teleconnect can help. Visit your local Rentway, Ace TV Rentals, or Rent Division and get connected fast. We offer all the popular calling features. You can have call waiting, call return, three way calling, caller ID, and non published number. No credit check, no deposit, regardless of your past payment history. Call or stop by any Rentway, Ace TV Rentals, or Rent Division today. It's going to be one hot ride. James Brolin stars in Pensacola Wings of Gold. Sunday night at 7 on UPN Nashville. Your car not want to go? Well, don't worry, we can tow. Here at Brown's Automotive, we specialize in light, medium, and heavy towing. There's no car or truck too hard for us to handle. Our specially trained staff is on call 24 hours a day, and our quick response time makes us one of the best in Nashville. So when your car doesn't want to go, just give us a call, and we'll give you a tow. Is your nonprofit organization looking for a fundraiser? Well, what better fundraiser than Hot Live NWA Worldwide Wrestling? That's right. Bring wrestling to your town, high school, or civic center. The best fundraiser in America is professional wrestling. Call this number today, 837-1080. That's 837-1080. Bring the same quality professional wrestling that you see each and every week on TV right to your town. For your fundraisers, call NWA Worldwide, 837-1080. That's 837-1080. It's a week of tough competition on Jeopardy! Think you can handle it? Tune in and join the action. Tonight at 6 on UPN Nashville. An alien virus. I made chicken soup. It's supposed to make us feel better. Invades Dick's mind. I'm not wearing pants. I was wondering why the lint brush wasn't working. Will he spill his guts? I'm an alien from another planet. Next, Third Rock. And this is news. Tonight at 6.30 on UPN Nashville. Right here? Okay. 
You don't, well, you don't know how much I appreciate this, sir. What's this? Have a bite. Oh, well, like sealing the deal, huh? Exactly. Cool. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NWA Worldwide. What a week we've had here in the NWA. A hectic week. There's negotiations going on. The Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Cup's coming up June 3rd. We've had phone calls from all over the country, including Jerry the King Lawler, Miss Kitty, and Jim Cornette joining me at this time. Cocky Chris Champion. What a match we've got for you in the ring. Tracy Smothers. You forgot that I'm going to be on that card as well on the Tojo Yamamoto Cup card. You did forget one big star, Cocky Chris Champion. Well, I was talking about the name stars. Like I said, Cocky Chris Champion. Tracy Smothers taking on Wildcat Chris Harrison. As you saw earlier in the show, Chris, what is up with this PRX? I mean, where did it come from? Who's PR behind what? it? What are you talking about? Did you not watch the beginning of the show? I must have missed it. I must have been uh, in the restroom or something. I didn't see it. I don't know what you're talking about. And speaking of things going on that nobody seems to know what is go what, what's happening. What's up with Tom Fullery? What about him? Tom Fullery, what about him? He's Tom Fullery. You don't know what I'm talking about. Him. What are you talking, talking about to, here? Talking to Tom Fullery, Master of the Ring, all He's that stuff. Tom Fullery just clowning around, having a good time, I guess. What are you talking about, Lee? Tom Fullery's Tom Fullery. You really don't know. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, Lee Tidwell. But the, did you take your medicine this morning? The contract and the flames and an apple and this seals the deal. What contract? What flames? What are you talking about? Are you watching the same TV show I'm watching here? Uh, considering we're both talking on it, yes, I am. Did you not see that? It, what is? I have no idea what you're talking Ladies about. Ladies and gentlemen, Sorry, so man. much Am I stuff. in here? Or what's going on? I lost time? What the heck's up here? So much know. stuff going on in the company this week. A hectic turmoil of a week for NWA Worldwide. We've got promos coming up for PRX that nobody knows who's behind it or what it is. We've got my co-host right now saying he has no idea what was said to Tom Foolery. And I think everybody knows that he does. We've got a match in the ring between Why Tracy. Do I always get accused of knowing what's going on. Am I am as honest as a day is long? What you see with Cocky Chris Champion is what you get. Why do you think I mislead you, man? I, I've been straight with you ever since we started on this company, man. And Nobody I've been straight with you. Don't, now listen to the week I've had, though, Chris. We've got the show starting off to some weird stuff that I have no idea what it is. Porter will not return my calls. He will not talk to me. I haven't spoken to him in a week. Ever since he signed that new commissioner, I have not talked to him. You haven't talked to Porter No, man. he will not return my calls. I page him, and he, don't, he won't return them. I have no idea what's going on. I just luckily came up here to do the show, and we were doing it. I didn't know. What, you know, I haven't seen him. Have you seen him? You got heat with the office or what? I don't know. I don't know what, what is going on. Athena's looking at me really weird. What's this I've been hearing about you coming on to here? What's up with this deal with you coming on to Athena? You know, I'm not coming on to it. She was giving me, you know, the little. You think you were a masher or something, you know? A what? A masher. A, a, a man that comes on to a woman when she doesn't want his advantage. No, she gets, she's got she's a special get, rules. She like winks at me and gives workplace, me the, the, you know? the googly eyes, and she rubbed up against me while we were doing the commentary. She's playing footsie with me. She had her shoe off and everything. She's probably getting sick to her stomach from being around you. That makes her take her shoe off? And you know what? We haven't talked about this match this whole time. Shoulder blocked there by Tracy Smothers. <laughs> Knocks Chris Harris down. I do apologize to the fans and to Tracy Smothers in Wildcat Chris Harris. Like I said, the week's been weird here in the NWA. And trying to get it all sorted out, and it seems like everybody knows some little part of the information that's going on, but nobody can get together and figure out the big picture. What's happening? What's going to happen tonight at the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena? So many rumors flying around the NWA. You're not going to want to miss this show tonight. Side headlock there by Smothers. Shoot off by Harris. Smothers now. Big power slam by Chris Harris. Harris now going for the cover. The referee down. Only a two-count. Yeah, that Tracy Smothers, he's no slouch. He's been in the business quite a long time, almost as long as I'd, I've been. I'll tell you what, Tracy Smothers got to start down in Florida one of his first matches with the cocky Chris Champion. He's one tough SOB, if you can say that on TV. Close line by Chris Harris on Tracy Smothers, who goes over the top rope. Mr. G, the manager of Tracy Smothers. Here goes Chris Harris. Baseball slide kicks him right in the chin. Smothers is now down. 
Yeah, he's not down for long. Smothers making his way back up. He's got, he's tough. He's extremely one resilient wrestler. Oh, oh cross there. body over the top there by Chris Harris. Now he's just pounding away on the head of Tracy Smothers. The southpaw Chris Harris taking it straight to Smothers. The man I've seen work for more companies in three months than half the people I know worked in three years. Well, he's at the best company right now, you know, the NWA. Uh, if anybody's noticed about the matches in the past month, I mean, they've really gotten a lot better. Our wrestlers are really working hard. They're striving. They're trying to give the people what they want, a really good, good hard match here, and these guys are really working hard. Crossbody by Harris, only a two count. Shot off there by Smothers. Shoulder block by Harris, takes him down. Smothers now throwing Harris way over the top rope, right on the floor. I don't think he threw him on the floor. I think he was trying to keep him from going over the top rope and tried to pull him back in and really lost his grip on Harris, and Harris just went over the top rope. It happens sometimes. This one, Mr. G, G. Gordon Giddy's going to go over here and help him out a little bit, try to get him up off the ground right there. Well, look at Chris Harris, the fastest rising star I've ever seen here in the NWA, bar none. Tracy Smothers, the man who can work for any company in America he wants to, he is in the NWA right now taking on Chris Harris. He's doing a good job, I might add. He's look like, there he is. Nice guy. That, he's a good old, nice southern country boy helping Chris Harrison. Here, look at the way Tracy. That's a, what a nice gentleman. You don't see that much in wrestling nowadays, you know. Guys taking care of each other, looking out for each other. Yeah, it used to be in the good old days. Brotherhood, camaraderie. Now you got to worry about getting screwed. Mr. G choking Chris Harris on the outside as Tracy Smothers distracts the referee. I still don't know what his name is. Chris Harris working his way back to the apron. Tracy Smothers dragging him in by his hair. The referee distracted by Mr. G. Backslide here by Chris Harris. The referee isn't turned around. Chris Harris could have this one if Mr. G wasn't distracting the ref. Poke to the eye there. I wouldn't say Mr. G's distracting the ref at all there. I think maybe the ref was over there just trying to give Mr. G a hard time for doing his job and dispensing his managerial techniques out there. Smothers now with the cover. The ref down. Only a two-count kick up by Chris Harris. It's going to take a lot more than that. To pin the Wildcat down. Smothers now scratching right down the back of Chris Harris. Yeah, he's pulling out all the stops right here. That Chris Harris is one tough guy. you got to give him credit. Going there against Tracy Smothers, he's been around some 18 years or so now. And Chris Harris probably about 18 months in the business. And he's, you know, he's still holding his own against Tracy. Tracy working on him really hard here, though. In the corner, Smothers choking Chris Harris now. Smothers lets go. Smothers has a four count. I mean, if, if you're going to have the rules, why not use them and stretch them as far as you can to your own benefit? You've been known for that, haven't you? I'll keep on doing it. And Team Y2K. Exactly. Who's speaking of Team Y2K later on in this show, Y2K and the New South finally face off. Also later in the show, we're going to name the new commissioner of NWA Worldwide. We haven't even touched on that. New commissioner. New commissioner. What is this? What is going on today with all this new stuff? New commissioner. What is what is this? I have no idea. Who's the new commissioner? I don't know. That's the great. last thing Porter told me last week was you will have an envelope with the name of the new commissioner, and I'm supposed to introduce it. So I have no clue who that is. You actually talked to Mike Porter on the phone. Yes, I did. Fans, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. If car problems got you pinned for the one, two, three, you need to come see my friends at Mufflers, Brakes, and More. Come see my friend Robert and the gang, where they specialize in mufflers, brakes, and any of your other car repair needs. Don't wrestle with them old car problems. Bring them down here to my friends, Mufflers, Brakes, and More. Is your nonprofit organization looking for a fundraiser? Well, what better fundraiser than hot? Live NWA Worldwide Wrestling. That's right. Bring wrestling to your town, high school, or civic center. The best fundraiser in America is professional wrestling. Call this number today, 837-1080. That's 837-1080. Bring the same quality professional wrestling that you see each and every week on TV right to your town. For your fundraisers, call NWA Worldwide, 837-1080. That's 837-1080. How would you like to have a powerful, accurate, and effortless golf swing? One that's repeatable and reliable. Join tour professionals, leading golf schools, and tens of thousands of golfers who are using Kalassi's Swing Magic Split Handled Training Club. It's taught me things that in 20 years of teaching that I didn't realize about the golf swing. And the results that I'm seeing with my students is incredible. Based on years of research and development of some of the greatest swings of all time, Kalassi Swing Magic teaches you to get the maximum amount of shoulder turn in your backswing 
on your downswing, it won't let you come over the top, which can cause a slice. It teaches you the proper delivery position, and it teaches you to accelerate the club head through the impact zone for a consistent, powerful, and repeatable golf swing. Order now and get your Kalassi Swing Magic Trainer at this special price. You'll also get this valuable training video and a sleeve of Strata Golf Balls absolutely free. Call 1-800-280-9966. Call now. Welcome back, Lee Tibble and Cocky Grizz Champion here. Grizz Harris down. Reversal here. Knee to the cut by Tracy Smothers. Reversal there by Harris. Misses the elbow of Smothers. Belly to belly here by Chris Harris on Tracy Smothers. Goes for the cover. The referee down on the two guy. That's going to take more than that to take Tracy Smothers out, you know. There's a nice back fist. Another back fist. That's a nice hook kick by Tracy Smothers. You wouldn't know what that was, did you do? Keep going. Nice cover by one Tracy Smothers. He's getting up. Tracy Smothers is going to set him up. Nice jump spitting hook kick right there. Here comes, uh, are you working here today, Tidwell? Here oh, yeah. comes uh, Gordon. G. Gordon Giddy up on four. Here's the kick out. Go ahead. You're the one who knows Gordon. You're the one who talks to him. So and I haven't I'm heard from him in so long. You do the commentary. Stuff. I have no clue what's going on. You know, I haven't told you how good you look today either, Mike. You really did talk to, 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 to Porter. I, yeah, I used to. I don't know where he's been lately. You got stroke with Porter? Thoughts are. You got pull with him? Thoughts are. You're looking good today, Tidwell. You've been working out, man. Ten. Well, Athena, man, Athena told me the other night that she is so hot over you, man. She could really? not contain herself. Oh, really? man, I'm telling you, she heard some of the stuff she she wants to end you. Oh, man. Really? God, what did you do? She, man, she's all over Tidwell. Now my girlfriend's left, so I'm still out of there. hell with her. I've got you some... want a real woman. Yeah. Athena said that? Athena, yeah. Athena wants you, brother. She wants to Tidwell. Right. Okay. Okay? Okay. Good. So you're looking good today, man. Thank you. You're very kind, Chris. Yeah. Smothers yeah. now going for the cover. Only a two-count kick out by Wildcat. She really said that? She really, she's been asking, asked about you if you had a girlfriend. I told you no, that you just dumped her. She wanted to know where you lived. I told you you had your own house. Drove a brand new car. On contract. You are on contract still, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, you really look good today. She, the job, the, 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 you just did, you're just, just the greatest, man. I appreciate that. I'm really, I'm, I'm really looking at envy here, man. It's just too much that you got. Athena, man. That's Athena. All the boys are having Athena. Oh, that's pretty. I, I'm feeling kind of, kind of excited. You're speechless, aren't you, yeah, too? Yeah, you're that's... just red and you're speechless here. Swing a neck breaker by Chris Harris. Harris down for the cover. Only two. Got to kick out of Tracy Smothers. And a spear there by Harris. Goes for the cover. This should be all. And G. Gordon Giddy up on the ring apron. He's not doing anything. He's just minding his own business. And once again, the referee can't keep his mind on his board. Body slam there by Chris Harris. Harris now going to the outside, going to the top, going for that patented elbow drop. Uh -oh. Our beautiful photographer running across the back of the ring. That she is. Harris off the top elbow right down. Giddy's up on the ring apron. Distracting the referee. Now why is the referee over there messing with Giddy? Giddy's not doing nothing. He's telling him. Hey, look at that. Giddy lost his sunglasses. Blatant punch. Knocked a hundred and twenty-eight dollar pair of sunglasses off of G. Gordon Giddy. That's Harris up on top. Crossbody takes oh, Smothers over. What a nice Roll through by Tracy Smothers. His feet's on the rope. Smothers feet's on the rope. He gets the three count. I told you, Tidwell. Eighteen years of experience. Tracy Smothers using his mind. He's using science. He's using physics, and he used. Chris Harris's move against him to win the match for the one, two, three. One thing about Tracy's mother is he's got a win in the win column. Fans, let's hear some words from Jeff the Crippler Daniels. James Storm. Last Saturday night in Columbia, <laughs> you got a little taste, didn't you? You got just a little bit of what Gary Valiant's crying the blues about, Storm. I told you I'd cut you up. I told you I'd butcher you in Columbia Storm. <laughs> you want to get out of here and talk and run your mouth about how smart you are? Oh, Jeff Daniels, I ain't worried about that highway. I'm taking another road. Well, I'm telling you, brother, you took the low road because you dealt with the crippler, <laughs> and I carved you up. And just because Athena was out there, you thought that Dominique would be null and void? You thought we wouldn't have a backup plan? Well, tonight <laughs> at the fairgrounds, 
James Storm, once again, I'm going to open you up. I'm going to make you sweat. I'm going to make you bleed. I'm going to make you pay. Because I am the crippler. I do what I say. (laughs) And if I said it once, I've said it a hundred times, Storm. I'd rather go to my mama's funeral than my own. Tonight at the fairgrounds. (laughs) Somebody's going to get hurt. What a match we have coming up for you. James Storm, Jeff the Crippler Daniels, Dominique Athena. With all four of these getting in the same room, there's no telling what's going to happen, but we'll find out next. There's Athena Lee. Whoa. Oh, my. It's going to be high flying, high risk, off the top rope action tonight, tonight, tonight at the world famous Mecca for Nashville Wrestling, the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Bell time, 8 p.m. Box office opens at 6. Get there early and get a great seat. If you haven't been to the Mecca lately, this is the show you're going to want to see. On the card, Lee Victory to take on Havoc. Gypsy Joe versus the cocky one, Chris Champion. Lex Victory to take on Style and Shaney. Badass Brown versus Tony Fox. The Wild Boys. Ben Jordan and Steve Neely to take on the Devil's Disciples. Mephisto and Dante. That's a big tag team grudge match you're going to want to see. And in the main event, James Storm and Miss Athena in his corner to take on Jeff. The Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. Daniels carving the forehead of James Storm last week in Columbia, Tennessee. Storm has sworn revenge on Daniels and to make up the day of Gary Valiant. That's all tonight. The Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Bell time, 8 p.m. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you're only going to need the very edge. Want to meet new friends? We've got them. Looking for a casual date? We've got them. Looking for someone to talk to? We've got them. Looking for something long-term? We've got them. Private Lines has what you want. So make us what you want. Call today, 242-DATE. Credit problems? Bankrupt. Hassles. Worries. Your life getting too complicated? Not at J.D. Byrider. It's as simple as one, two, three, drive. One's for a car. A fresh car with a warranty. Two's for credit. At J.D. Byrider, you can be driving the same day you apply. Three's for care. Ask about our 12 months, 12,000 miles service protection. It's that simple. J.D. Byrider. Fans, welcome back to the show. James Storm whipping Jeff Daniels into the corner. Storm now. Oh, he missed with that one, did he? Tim? He scared me to death. Why are you so skittish today? Because I don't know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on in this company. I know we're going to Ashland City every Thursday night, 7.30 bell time. Ashland City, the family fun skate center? Yep. Oh, boy. Man. I know we're going to Fairview, Tennessee, May 11th, for Thursday night, bell time at 7.30. I, I know we're going to Waverly, May 12th, Friday night. I know tonight we're going to be in Nashville, the mecca of Nashville wrestling, the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. And there's been changes promised tonight. This is the show. If you have not ever come to a live NWA event, tonight at the mecca is the one you need to come to. That sounds like four or five times a week. It's a lot. Man, maybe we'll start getting paid around here. We're also in Columbia tonight. Columbia tonight is well. Who's all in Columbia? The Wild Boys. Wild, oh, the Wild Boys. I hope the Devils completely disintegrate them tonight. Just really looking good here, Danny. Jeff Daniels taking it to James Storm. He looks okay. The triple now backing him into the ropes. Whips him across. Misses with the clothesline. And what a pretty drop kick. Kicks oh, Storm dude, right up man. underneath the chin. That's a vertical leap on that. You notice he's having to help. He's having to help Storm up. Double take over there by the Crippler Jeff Daniels. He was so high on that drop kick, he had to kick down. He needs to watch out because Storm's so mad at him. If he ever gets a hold of him, he'll beat him like a Hitler pinata in a bar mitzvah. Oh my God, Tim. Well, you know what happens when you get angry? When you get angry, you make mistakes and you mess up. So if he wants to get angry, that's probably what uh, Jeff Daniels would like. Storm will drop him like the stock market. I don't know about that. Jeff Daniels is a pretty tough wrestler. And Storm, all the way around, going for a backslide Backslide. here. Dominique's got the referee distracted. Man, what is wrong with this boy? 
Only a two count. There's nothing for you to do. Obviously, he can't keep his mind on the match. He's more worried about messing with Dominique. Also, what is this PRX stuff? Nobody's given me any information on this. Enough with the PRX, all right? Are you trying to start instigate something? I'm here? trying to figure out what's going on in this company. I'm sure you'll know when the time is right, Tidwell. You're in with Porter. You talk to him on the phone. I'm sure you'll know exactly what PRX is when the time is right. God knows I don't. Don't forget, fans, later on in this show, the new commissioner of the NWA Nashville will be named. Who is his new commissioner? Give it time, Chris. You'll know when his time is right. Grippler Daniels. Chuck and James Storm over the bottom rope. Hey, Athena. there's Athena Lee. Did you see her jump? Man. She probably saw you. Really? Yeah, she probably saw you and got all excited. She's a hot girl. She just saw starry-eyed every time she's around you. Jeff Daniels dropping the chalupa on James Storm. Once again, the referee, how many, hey, look at him, he's from one woman to the other. Man, I could not referee that match. You got Dominique on one side, you got Athena on the other. I wouldn't even watch the match. That would be very difficult, you know. Keep it would be best to have Dominique and Athena together. Oh, would believe. And the oil and maybe some plastic. Oh, oh. like hot oil wrestling. Well, back to the match here. It looks like uh, Dominique was giving uh, James a little assistance there. And Jim mounts the DJ coming out of the back. I see more people coming out of that curtain that are non-wrestlers. Hey, Jim Mounts is a Mason, so don't mess around with him. Yeah, I, did, did you see that special about the Masons? Uh, I think that's like, enough about the Masons. They do good work. You don't need to say anything derogatory about That's a really good organization. Rituals and all that stuff. Hey, enough about the Masons. My dad was a Mason. Scottish I'm not saying Rice. anything bad. 33rd degree. Do what? 33rd degree. What does that mean? 33 is a very synonymous number, and, and, and you know, you have to be in the last one. Yeah. Okay. Jeff Daniels with a big hit toss on James Storm on the outside. His trusty horse, Pee Pee, still sitting in the corner. Why does he call him Pee Pee? Because uh, he uses the litter box. I don't know. Right. I thought it was because he, he rode it between his legs. Uh, I don't know. Once Athena. again, the referee over there messing with Athena. And here comes Dominique, a big kick to the chest there on James Dorman, just wearing him out on the outside. Well, I'm sure J James probably made a move on Dominique out there, you know, and the faithful wife that she is, she's not going to let him come on, to, come on to her right there in front of Jeff Daniels. Come on, give me a break. Wife? They're married? I don't know. Did I say wife? You said wife. Jeff Daniels and Dominique are married? But she was no, talking to me, she was talking to me in the back, too. No, 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 no. She told me that... The, never mind, I can't say that on TV. Uh, maybe that's, that's just hearsay, man. You know what a decent proposal? Does Jeff have a million dollars? Uh, I wish I did. I wonder if Athena would never know. Storm now down in the middle of the ring. Jeff Daniels picking him up by his head. Daniels was smart. He would grab that necklace that James Storm left on and just choke the fire out of him with it. It's always good to use use as many weapons in that ring as you can as you can get against your opponent. Well, you know, and I discourage cheating, but if somebody's going to leave a necklace on in the middle of the ring during a match, mistake or not, no good deed goes unpunished in this world, Lee. Sometimes you got to cheat a little bit to get ahead. Have you ever cheated on taxes? Haven't you ever lied to your girlfriend once or twice? Haven't you ever cheated on her? No, I have not. That's not what I heard. That's not what Athena said. Come on, stop it. Whip into the corner. She's hot for you, man. Backdrop there by Storm. Storm getting his second win. Adrenaline rush going on right now. And Dominique up on the ring apron. Here comes Athena. She's getting up on the ring apron. There's Athena and Dominique. And here comes the mystery lady. Her name is Angel out to the back. Dominique and Athena fighting over that little object. Angel attacking oh my Athena. God. Oh, my God. Is, oh, look at that lady. You see that? What in the world's going on here? We got a cat fight going on. The Angel and line. Athena. We call this double A. Oh but goodness, look at this. Thanks. I have dreams about this. Lee, I don't know if I can contain myself here. What is... Back to what's going on in the ring. We've got Jeff Daniels with that object. James Storm has no idea what's going on. Stammer takeover take over there by Jeff Daniels. The referee's distracted. He's cutting him with that object. Come on now. He's just doing a little surgery. Oh, my God. Look at that there. A just... little surgery. It's like he's taking a scalpel and trying to take his heart out. I believe Jeff does have a doctorate degree. Come on now, this is insane. This man is morbid. He is sick. He needs to be committed. What's so sick about a little blood? A little blood? 
He's lost a pint now. Come on. What man would sit there and carve the forehead of his opponent up for no good reason? He cannot beat anybody, and that's the reason he cuts them up. He gets DQ'd for cutting their heads because he can't beat anybody legit. Like, I can't take this no more. Fans, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. This is insane. He's doing a good job of beating up to me. Look at him. It's going to be high play, high risk, off the top rope action tonight, tonight, tonight at the world famous Mecca for Nashville Wrestling, the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Bell time, 8 p.m. Box office opens at 6. Get there early and get a great seat. If you haven't been to the Mecca lately, this is the show you're going to want to see. On the card, Lee Victory to take on Havoc, Gypsy Joe versus the cocky one, Chris Champion. Lex Victory to take on Style and Shane Eaton, Badass Brown versus Tony Fox. The Wild Boys, Ben Jordan and Steve Neely to take on the Devil's Disciples, Mephisto and Dante. That's a big tag team grudge match you're going to want to see. And in the main event, James Storm and Miss Athena in his corner to take on Jeff, the Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. Daniels carving the forehead of James Storm last week in Columbia, Tennessee. Storm has swore revenge on Daniels and to make up the day of Gary Valiant. That's all tonight. The Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena, bell time, 8 p.m. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you're only going to need the very edge. Hey mom, looking for a cool way to beat the heat? Look at this. For just $3.95, the Pool Depot puts your family in this picture. That's right, only $3.95. Our value series pool comes complete with pump, filter, liner, ladder, and two wood decks, plus free installation on your ready site, all for just $3.95. Or step up to the Elite model. High-tech features make this pool up to 90% chemical free. And professional installation, lifetime coverage, and reduced pool care make it truly elite. Nothing brings a family together like a backyard paradise from the Pool Depot. Imagine you and the kids splashing, swimming, and playing in your very own pool. It's big, it's cool, and it's yours. Call now before these amazing offers disappear. Imagine a free automatic pool cleaner and no payments for 90 days on your elite pool. Call right now. Operators are standing by. Jeff Daniels, this done gone way beyond Gary Ballard's accident. You want to come to Columbia, Tennessee, and you want to bring blood from my head? Let me tell you something. Tonight, on your way home, when you take that long drive to Nashville, Tennessee, just remember, we will meet up at the Nashville Fairgrounds. And brother, this time, it's personal. Brother, I don't care if I see you in the wrestling ring. If I see you at the convenience store, I'm just gonna jump you right there, brother. You bring the blood from my head and make me bleed, Tonight, Tennessee Fairground, you will be. You got those jum jumbo mule size ones, right? Those are the ones I wear. Like I said, these extra small are yours. I don't need that. Well, Savannah said you hung like a hamster. I I'm sorry. Now, come on. Stop it. I've never done anything with Savannah. And I've had a little snip snip. I don't need those things. Oh, okay. You had one of them, too? Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. yeah. Right. What about them boys? B.A. Brown and Tony Falk. Falk wearing his Tinky Winky outfit. Reversing the arm there. I got to say, this B.A. Brown, he's got one colorful outfit on him. I really like those stars and stripes. wonder if he can make himself wave like a flag. No, why don't you ask it? We'd like to welcome our sponsor, Browns Automotive, to the show. Also, mufflers, brakes, and more. I hear uh, Boogie Woogie Valiant still needs a car towed. He needs to call B.A. Brown. I reckon he can't pick up a phone right now. How is Boogie doing? You heard from You've heard from Porter. You've heard from everybody else. I haven't heard from him in a week. You heard from Boogie? No, I haven't. Last thing I know, he took a turn for the worse. He couldn't make it to Columbia last week, so. Turn for the worse is right, I heard. You know, hopefully he'll be back real soon. Punch to the gut there by Falk. <laughs> I don't think you're going to see Boogie anytime soon, Lee. Where'd that sock monkey go? I think he's being spanked in the back or something. Like that. You know, I'm sorry. You know. Bad monkey, bad. Bad monkey. Whip in there by B.A. Brown on Tony Falk. Clothesline takes him off his feet. What a bump by Tony Falk. I remember watching Tony Falk when I was like four years old. Oh, come on. Tony's not that old. No, I'm, but I'm not that old. I'm only 24. It means he's only been wrestling for 20 years. That's, a, that's about right. 24? Do you still live at home? No. Athena said you still live with me, I mean, at home. B.A. Brown up on the ropes now, waiting for Tony Falk to come in. Like I told Athena, the single parent thing's kind of hard to do sometimes. 
Yeah, I know it is. It's, it's rough. It's like B.A. Brown was just waiting on a bus there, taking his time. He's not worried about Tony Falk here. But Tony Falk's one tough individual. He's been around quite a long time. He's not stupid. People don't have a lot of faith in Tony Falk, but I tell you, I do. Tony Falk's been around. He's done more gimmicks wrestling. Why more is Tim Mitchell, the camera guy, showing some chick climbing over chairs? I have absolutely no idea. She was young, Tim. Come she on. Was, she was underage. Starts with an S. Ends with a, a Tory. Armbar there by B.A. Brown. And Tony Falk. And a chant coming from the crowd. Looks like Tony Falk's got the, the power coming on him. Regular the eyes there by B.A. Brown. I mean, Tony Falk. Geez, I'm all kinds of mixed up. This week's been just hectic, uh, confusing. Just stronger, man. You, need to, you need to rest. You need to lay down and sleep. You've been up too late at night with a fiend or something like that, man. I don't know what the problem is. I haven't talked to her in a while. Backdrop there by Brown. Talking's the last thing you've been doing from what I've heard. Now, what is that supposed to mean? I haven't, I've been a very good boy. I haven't done anything. Fans, don't forget June 3rd. The Who is jump. this bag right here? This old hag always sticks her nose in it. And, and there's a little brat right now. So that's probably her grandson or something. No home training with the children nowadays. You know, really. I'm sorry. June 3rd, the Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Cup. Like I said before, people like Jerry the King Waller has called wanting to be there. Jim Cornette has called wanting to be there. Calls from all over are coming about the Tojo Show. June 3rd, that big cup, the tournament for the Tojo Cup. Is why was, everybody's covered. It's a pretty cup, too, man. That thing's solid silver. Ashland City each and every Thursday. And also, it's the Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Cup. Have you heard? We will crown a brand new NWA United States Television Champion at that show. Why well, am I always the last to hear this stuff, Lee? Because I don't think you're included in the battle royale. I'm not in the clique. Basically, I'm not in the clique. I'm not included in anything in this company. Right. I get called at the last minute and told I'm booked in one town and sent to another. I told I'm going to get paid one figure, and I get paid totally something different, which is always less. You're a draw. I, I didn't ask for a draw. Uh, I know I'm a draw. Big draw. Still over. Still over. Big time. That's why I'm on the Tojo Young Memorial Cup Series. Cocky Chris Channing. Along with Jerry Lawler, who's also a big draw. Along with Jim Cornette, who's also a big draw. Well, we're all Jim Cornette. Speaking of Jim Cornette, the first show we had back at that big building downtown. You know what I'm talking about? It's called the municipal. I couldn't remember what it was called. I just know it's a big old building. Anyway, Jim Cornette was talking on our microphone, our cordless microphone, the only one we had. He threw it 40 feet into the stands and broke it. So we've got to carry that little corded thing we hear every time you're walking around with it. Cornette's going to have to pay for that mic if he comes back to Nashville. I'm sure he's got plenty of money to handle it. I'm sure he no did. But the big battle roll for the United States Television Championship at the Tojo Show, June 3rd, the Mecca. Yeah. All he's got to do is make a call home to Mama and the checks in the mail. Okay. Tony Falk with right hand. Badass Brown with one of his own. Trading punches here. It's B.A. Brown. Oh, right. Great to the eyes. Tony using his uh, using his head right here on Badass. I mean, B.A. Brown. Yeah, I'm, I'm, Excuse me, censors. Whipped there by Falk. Falk now walking over to B.A. Brown. Big punch to the chest. Vicious punch by Tony Falk. Choking him out here. Tony Falk taking Brown, grabbing his head into the turnbuckle. Vicious head into the turnbuckle. Fans tonight, I cannot reiterate how important it is for you to be at the show. Oh, what a vicious chop. The meaning of the rugby there, Lee. To be at the show at the Mecca tonight, the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena. If you haven't seen an NWA show live lately, this is the one you're not going to want to miss. Also, like I said, Ashland City each and every Thursday night, 7.30 bell time. Fairview, Tennessee, May 11th. Waverly, Tennessee, May 8th. Coming soon to Bowling Green. And a big clothesline there. Bowling Green, my old stomping ground. That is so far away from Nashville. It's only 75 miles from Nashville. That's a That's long a... ways, man. You haven't been in the business very long. That's a very short trip in this business. I've been here for a year. Like I said, you haven't been in the business very long. That's a very short trip. I'm sorry. Try three, four hundred miles. I'm sorry, I didn't make it to the big time and then <clears throat> didn't cut it. Tony Falk in control. Gets disqualified for the low blow on B.A. Brown. Tony Falk, he's hot. Brown is down. Falk stomping away on B.A. Brown now. And fans, we're going to have to take a quick break. Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back. It's going to be high flight, high risk, off the top rope action tonight, tonight, tonight at the world famous Mecca for Nashville Wrestling, the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Bell time, 8 p.m. Box office opens at 6. 
get there early, and get a great seat. If you haven't been to the Mecca lately, this is the show you're going to want to see. On the card, Lee Victory to take on Havoc. Gypsy Joe versus the cocky one, Chris Champion. Lex Victory to take on Style and Shaney. Badass Brown versus Tony Fox. The Wild Boys. Ben Jordan and Steve Neely to take on the Devil's Disciples, Mephisto and Dante. That's a big tag team grudge match you're going to want to see. And in the main event, James Storm and Miss Athena in his corner to take on Jeff, the Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. Daniels carving the forehead of James Storm last week in Columbia, Tennessee. Storm has swore revenge on Daniels and to make up the day of Gary Valiant. That's all tonight. The Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena, bell time, 8 p.m. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you're only going to need the very edge. We're here in this auto graveyard to demonstrate a remarkable car polish. New finish, the once a year car polish. New finish is not a wax. It's a unique polymer formula that's even safe for clear coat finishes. Simply wipe it on and just wipe it off. There's no rubbing, no buffing, and you can even apply it in direct sunlight. And look, new finish restored a deep, hard shine even to this weather beaten car. Just one application will give your car a showroom shine that lasts a whole year. To prove it, we polished this car with new finish and ran it through 52 car washes. Even after heavy duty detergents and powerful scrubbing, the water still beads. So get new finish, the once a year car polish. New finish rated number one by Consumer Magazines. Available at Ecker Drug, Target, Advance Auto, Walgreens, Ace Hardware, Pep Boys, AutoZone, and Kmart. Wild wow, boys, you followed us all over the country. Now you've come to the NWA right behind us just like a little dog napping at our heels. But I've got news for you. We've kicked your ass all over Tennessee, Kentucky, and we're going to continue it. You've got us where we can't throw the fireball. You've had us suspended. Then you've had my, you say my partner's boots loaded. Yeah. Now... All we've got to have is a 29-cent <laughs> garbage bag. We're going in your careers tonight. <laughs> to the fair Nashville grounds. Fairgrounds. We're going to put the garbage in the garbage bag, boys. And you in a body bag. Fans, welcome back to NWA Worldwide. Chris Champion back getting ready for his match with the New South. Joining me at this time, Tom Fullery in the ring. The Wild Boys. Taking on Mephisto and Dante. Dante getting a big hip toss there. And an arm drag. Boy, this speed right here goes way back. These teams do not like each other. Now, earlier in the show, what were you doing with him? Yes. Uh, this ain't the right time to uh, reveal that. I told you I had my own agenda. I'm, when I'm ready, believe me, you'll be the first to know. Master of the ring, you said, and I still don't understand that. Well, it'll all come together for you. Even you'll be able to understand it. And Dante, handful of hair. Stinky's always out of position, ain't he? Owen. Is that Neely? That's Neely. Okay, I couldn't tell. Neely right to the back. By Mephisto, stomping away on Steve Neely. Big right hand to the back of the head. Good double take. team here by the Devil's Disciples. Whipping Neely into the ropes. A big double clothesline. Takes the wild boy down. Steve Neely in trouble. Cutting that ring off. Keep it on their side so they can double team and just weaken their opponent. Mephisto now whipping Neely into the corner. Back elbow drops him to his back. And Mephisto picking up Neely by his head. The boot up of Dante. The boot. You said that like it's infamous or something. It is. It's just a boot. Man. It's loaded. Loaded with what? Who knows? Concrete. Mr. G choking Neely over the rope as the referee is being distracted. Dante. Big right hands to the back of Steve Neely, ramming his head to the top third buckle. You know, he hurt that leg at foot in a car wreck. One leg is shorter than the other now, and that, that's an orthopedic boot. How could he wrestle if concrete was inside that boot? Think about what you're saying. I don't know. He does walk uh, like it's heavier. It could be concrete. You never know. It's true. It's true. Double team here on Neely as the Devil's Disciples now. Now Dante, coming off the top, big double axe handle to the shoulder of Steve Neely. The guy with concrete in his boot can do that. It's true. It's true. It could happen. A whip there by Mephisto. A big chop taking Neely off his feet. Neely needs to tag Jordan. 
Boy, Mephisto and Dante are keeping a fresh man in there at all times. They've been tagged about seven or eight times already. Dante now going for the hip toss. Reversal here. Backslide by Neely. The referee being distracted by Mephisto. Neely with him pinned for a 47 count. And Stinky, the referee, doesn't even see it. Excellent tag team wrestling by the Devils. Mephisto in now. A big chop right to the throat of Steve Neely. Brings him down. Yeah, Jordan's trying to rev the crowd up. Just been informed the referee's name is Patrick Chester. I almost thought his name was Steve. That's what I thought. Jordan trying to come in. The referee trying to hold him back. Mephisto tempting Jordan over. Get him out Dante of coming over with a chair. Neely's in trouble now. Dante picking him up, taking that chair, just whopping him in the head with it. I think the wind felt that one. As Dante picking up Neely and rolling him into the ring. Mephisto still trying to get Ben Jordan into the ring. Cover here by Mephisto. This could be it after that chair shot. Oh, and all, oh. Ooh, two and a half. Excellent tactics here. The referee's not very consistent on his count. They're, they're keeping him distracted, which is, you know, a good sign of a tag team. Dante back in Neely into the corner. With him all the way across. Here comes Dante for the ride. Misses. Roll up here. Steve Neely got him covered. Referee being distracted by Mephisto. 108. 109. Mephisto finally pulls him off. Dante up. Jordan up. The referee pushes Jordan back. That's Dante. Jab to the throat there on Steve Neely. Mephisto trying to draw Jordan into the ring. Here comes Jordan. Mephisto just shoves him out. Meanwhile, Steve Neely has taken a lot of punishment over there. Especially with Mr. G over there in the back of the ring, helping Dante choke Neely over the middle rope. A big kick to the gut there by Dante. Mephisto just sitting on it, put all his body weight right on the throat of Steve Neely over that second row. Jordan's in the ring now. The referee trying to get him back. Get him out of there, ref. Gouge of the eyes there by Mephisto. Dante Mephisto, the Devil's Disciples, double team on Neely. Ducks the double clothesline. Double clothesline by himself. Fans, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. It's going to be high flight, high risk, off the top rope action tonight, tonight, tonight at the world famous Mecca for Nashville Wrestling, the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Bell time, 8 p.m. Box office opens at 6. Get there early and get a great seat. If you haven't been to the Mecca lately, this is the show you're going to want to see. On the card, Lee Victory to take on Havoc. Gypsy Joe versus the cocky one, Chris Champion. Lex Victory to take on Style and Shane Eaton. Badass Brown versus Tony Fox. The Wild Boys. Ben Jordan and Steve Neely to take on the Devil's Disciples, Mephisto and Dante. That's a big tag team grudge match you're going to want to see. And in the main event, Shane Storm and Miss Athena in his corner to take on Jeff, the Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. Daniels carving the forehead of Shane Storm last week in Columbia, Tennessee. Storm has swore revenge on Daniels and to make up the day of Gary Valiant. That's all tonight. The Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena, bell time, 8 p.m. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you're only going to need the very edge. Most girls don't like to be called fast. Most girls don't like to fight. I'm not like most girls. Pensacola wins of gold. It's going to be one hot ride. Sunday night at 7 on UPN Nashville. I've had some past credit problems, and getting a car can be a real challenge. Dealers have told me no, but I got a yes from 1-800-GET-A-YES. 1-800-GET-A-YES is a service that has helped over a million people just like me find fast, affordable auto financing. No one wanted to give me a car loan because of my past problems. I was about to give up when a friend told me about 1-800-GET-A-YES, and they said yes to me, fast. Cut your credit in a mess, one 800 get a yes Fans, welcome back to the show. Steve Neely finally tagging in Ben Jordan as all four men, the Wild Boys and the Devil's Disciples, into the ring. Mephisto picking up Jordan. Neely with an atomic drop on Dante. Jordan goes over on top of Mephisto. It's a three count. No way. The winner is the Wild Boys over the Devil's Disciples. Ben Jordan getting the cover. As Dante starts working over Steve Neely, Jordan finally realizes what's going on. Goes Get over him. to Dante. Big double axe handle coming up for Mephisto. Go. Get him. There's that boot getting loaded right now by Dante. Oh, a is. big kick right to Neely, right in his chest. Mephisto stomps away on Ben Jordan. The bell's ringing. Mr. G now running out. Well, what have they got in store for him this week? 
Oh, nothing loaded. Boot right under the throat. That's an orthopedic boot, I told you. Mephisto's got a trash bag. Ooh, he's right trying to face. suffocate Ben Jordan with a trash bag. This is sadistic. I love it. Choking him outright. He's going to suffocate him. Come on, somebody get in here. The referee's out now. Now Mr. G's in there. Mr. G in. Mephisto trying to suffocate Steve Neely in the center of the ring with his trash bag. Come on. We get any help out here? Dante just stomping away. He's about out. You see that trash bag moving up and down. They finally let go. As Neely comes in with a steel chair, the Devil's Disciples bugging out of the ring. Mr. G running to the back. But the damage has already been done, and for good measure. That's the right, the damage has been done. Let's hear from the Wild Boys about tonight at the National Fairgrounds Sports Arena. And right after that, fans, the big announcement of the new commissioner of the NWA. Mephisto and Dante, the Wild Boys have come to the NWA to make a name for themselves. But no, you want to come in there and try to put me out of the wrestling business. I tell you what, you bring that plastic bag, you put it over my head, you try to choke me out right there in Columbia, Tennessee. Well, I tell you, tonight at the fairgrounds, the Wild Boys are coming to kick your ass. I tell you what, Mephisto and Dante, he's right. We did come to make a name for ourselves, and we're going to do it no matter who we have to go through. We've went through you before. So if you want to choke him out or if you want to choke me out, boys, you better lace him up tight. Cause off! It's going to be high flying, high risk, off the top rope action tonight, tonight, tonight at the world famous Mecca for Nashville Wrestling, the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Bell stop 8 p.m., box office opens at 6. Get there early and get a great seat. If you haven't been to the Mecca lately, this is the show you're going to want to see. On the card, Lee Victory to take on Havoc. Gypsy Joe versus the cocky one, Chris Champion. Lex Victory to take on Style and Shane Eaton. Badass Brown versus Tony Fox. The Wild Boys. Ben Jordan and Steve Dealey to take on the Devil's Disciples, Mephisto and Dante. That's a big tag team grudge match you're going to want to see. And in the main event, James Storm and Miss Athena in his corner to take on Jeff, the Crippler Daniels, with Dominique in his corner. Daniels carving the forehead of James Storm last week in Columbia, Tennessee. Storm has swore revenge on Daniels and to make up the day of Gary Valiant. That's all tonight. The Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena, belt up 8 p.m. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you're only going to need the very edge. Nashville's own quality paging now carries Cricket, the comfortable wireless. Cricket phones featuring voicemail, caller ID, call waiting, and three-way calling. Get the affordable wireless that gives you unlimited local calls for only $29.95 per month. No contracts to sign and no credit checks to add inquiries to your credit report. At Quality Paging, you'll also find a wide assortment of pagers and accessories to choose from. For Cricket and all of your pager needs, call or stop by today. Quality Paging. It's Nashville's favorite place to dance. UPN Nashville invites you and your family to Dancing in the District with Cricket. Come see downtown Nashville's Riverfront Park come alive with food, fun, and free live music from some of Music City's best bands. And there's a lot more fun for the kids this year in the alcohol-free Mellow Yellow Smooth Zone. It's fun, free, and it's every Thursday starting May 11th. Dancing in the District with Cricket, sponsored by Cricket Wireless and UPN Nashville. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the new commissioner of the NWA, Mr. Mike Rockwell. <laughs> Mike, it's a very Distinct pleasure of mine to introduce you to the NWA as the new commissioner. You haven't been around that long, and a lot of people might not know exactly who you are. How did you get your job as commissioner of the NWA? That's right, Lee Tidwell. Well, a lot of people don't know my face, but I can assure you all you will real soon. Last weekend out at the fairgrounds, I was invited out in your absence to be guest ring announcer. After that night, I talked with Mike Porter, and we hit it off. 
we became good friends, and he says, Mike, I want you to be the new commissioner of the NWA, so that's why I'm here tonight. And I can tell you all, there's going to be a lot of changes. There's going to be some changes you're going to like, and there are going to be some changes you may not like. Well, speaking of changes, why don't you give us an example of some of the changes you're going to make in the NWA? Well, we've got a lot of these guys like Crippler Jeff Daniels, a lot of these guys like Y2K, they can't seem to keep their nose out of other people's business, right? Y2K was originally scheduled tonight to face the Wild Boys. But, but since they can't seem to keep their noses out of New South's business, right here in Columbia, Tennessee tonight, you're going to see Y2K face New South. Well, we've seen the way that Y2K and Jeff Daniels have stuck their nose in James Storm's matches, how they stuck their nose in the New South's matches. It's a good thing that you finally came out and did this. Y2K needs to be stopped. You guys want Y2K to be stopped? Yeah. You guys ready for that? You want to see him face New South tonight? Yeah. Well, you're going to see it right here in this very ring tonight. New South, Y2K. New South and Y2K here tonight. Now, Y2K has stuck their nose in the New South business. Y2K are a little cocky, a little arrogant. And Y2K finally needs to face New South face to face, man to man. It's just one of those. Does he even have his driver's license? He's not even old enough to drink by the looks of him. How could he be a commissioner? I'm dreaming here. Somebody pinch me. Well, Mike Porter has assigned him to be the commissioner of the NWA. And it's his first act as found out on NWA Worldwide this morning. Right here in Columbia, Tennessee, you will meet the New South. And I suppose you are the reason why. Exactly the reason why. Once again, you guys are going sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. My interview time. My debut in the NWA, and here you guys go sticking your nose in my business. Obviously, you haven't been here long enough to know that the Y2Ks do whatever the hell we want, when we want, how we want, with who we want, and I don't give a hell who you are, where you come from, or what kind of pull you got. You're not getting away with it. See, I'm sitting in the back. And all I hear is a bunch of gibbers by two punks running their stamp liquors out here. Everybody watched the show this morning and saw you two punks stick your nose where it didn't belong. See, you got a snag or two belly dancer up there. Corey Williams now ripping Team Y2K. Throwing insults at Tyler and Shane Heaton. You got an enchilada eating Mexican retard right there. And there's one at Mr. G. Nobody's holding him back, and he's still not going after him. Chris Champion trying to calm his teammate down and his manager. It's Corey Williams and Ashley Hudson, the New South, on the outside. And you got a guy who's supposedly from Hong Kong who couldn't cuss the mustard in the big time. And that sets cocky Chris Champion off, trying to get to Corey Williams. Did he say he's still over? <laughs> I'm sure exactly what that means. Oh, so you feel real froggy right about now. Well, Columbia, Tennessee, the way I see it, I don't know if you see it the way I see it, but the way I see it, since we can't get along, why don't we just get it on? And Ashley Hudson and Corey Williams, the New South, going after Team Y2K, Cocky Grizz champion. It's Dolan Shane Eaton. Fans, we're about out of time. You can see the rest of this match, including the aftermath, tomorrow night on Sunday night main event. We'll see you tonight at the Mecca, the National Fairgrounds Sports Arena. The future of wrestling begins tonight. P P R R S. I think Americans always look for value, and when we find it, we expect quality. 
So when it comes to my dentist, I want the best, but I need it to be affordable. At the Castle, get braces for nothing down in 98 a month. Crowns as low as 398, dentures as low as 265. Okay, let's face it. Americans are tough customers, but I know a good deal when I see one. Call the Castle today. 1 800 to smile. Quality dental care. Affordable. What's eating you, soldier? Big date for sergeant. Need a romantic restaurant. Date, soldier. Armyhq.com. Log on. <laughs> Fish your mommy! Just transferred in for sergeant. How can I get the heck out? Travel? Armyhq.com. Log on. Writing checks your body can't cash private? No. Need overdraft protection for sergeant. Banking services? Armyhq.com. Log on. Like your first sergeant on a really smart day. Armyhq.com. Hardy's new Italian Frisco's have Italian seasonings grilled right into the bread. Oregano, basil, Parmesan cheese, and more. Try the new Italian Frisco burger or Italian Frisco crispy chicken loaded with lots of good stuff. And Big Hardy's taste, now with an Italian accent. Va bene. Really good. It's back, the third annual Nashville River Stages. Three days of today's best music. May 5th, 6th, and 7th at Riverfront Park, the Allman Brothers Pin. Brian Adams, Widespread Panic. Plus Indigo Girls. Let's make PR549, Red Dog, War, and many more. And in the Bell South Family Zone, the Magic School Bus. Single day tickets and three day passes available through Ticketmaster and NashvilleRiverStages.com. May 5th through the 7th. Who's coaching your kids Monday at 10? Athena, how are you doing? Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your main event. Sex offenders, pedophiles, common criminals. This man that they trusted tried to touch them in a way that's not natural. Do you really know your child's coach? The adults that prey on children are really good. The pedophiles are very intelligent. Channel 4 is working for you with an investigation every parent must see. Learn what to ask your children and what you can do to keep these predators at bay. Who's coaching your kids? Monday at 10. Channel 4 wants to send your child to college. Every weeknight on the scene at 10, someone will win a year's tuition at a state college in Tennessee. Use it for your child, grandchild, or friend. Weeknights at 10, Bill Hall will select four numbers. If they appear in your phone number and you're the fourth caller, you win. Don't let rising tuition costs keep your loved one from getting ahead in life. Watch the scene at 10 and win a year's college scholarship from Channel 4. Another way we're working for you. Jeff Foxworthy is the king of America's redneck highway. He thought the last four words of the Star Spangled Banner were, gentlemen, start your engines. You might be a redneck. 
best-selling comedian of all time, Jeff Foxworthy, releases his new album, Big Funny. We went down to South Georgia to visit my wife's family, and while we were there, her brother got his nipple bitten off by a beaver. Big Funny. That's right. That's Jeff Foxworthy. Get your Big Funny today at Warehouse Locations. Right, main event, the clowns. Barnum and Bailey just smacking pies in the faces of the devil's disciples. Joining me at this time, my lovely co-host, Miss Athena. Thanks, Lee. It's great to be here. Let me see. Rich Richard, there you are. Richard Lowe, come here right now. Get out here now. Hi, hello, Richard. Athena. Have You're looking seat. as lovely as ever. Thank R you. Richard, have a seat right here. Richard, hello, Tidwell. How you doing, Richard? Why don't you sit over there? No, R Richard, you stay right there, right in the middle of Lee and I. I think I'll sit next to Athena. Richard and I just got back from dinner. Good friends, went and hung out, what, had a nice dinner. And together? Coming. Yes, together. Together, oh. Lee. The clowns, Barnum and Bailey and the Devil's Disciples, all four in the ring. Just when you thought it was safe to go back to the fairgrounds, it's the midget clowns. A big moonsault by one of the clowns got Dante covered. The referee is distracted. The referee finally over. Only a two-count, a kick out by Dante. And Barnum now. Yes. Look at that. Should have been disqualified from the get-go for throwing pies in the devil's faces. Belly to back suplex there by Dante on Barnum. And a tag into Diablo or Dingo or that's I don't Mephisto. Know. No, Mephi that's not Mephisto. Oh, that's Diablo. I'm sorry. It's like the three stooges where you know Shep and Curly. You can tell which one was gonna be which on what show. Big body slam there by the Spaniard. And going over to Clown B. Clown B. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point you have there, Ted. Well, which clown is which? Which one's Barnum? Which one's Bailey? And one of the clowns into the corner, out of the way, as Diablo showed her into the steel oh, post. Yeah. Roll up there by the clown and a kick to the head by Dante. Dante been known to have a loaded boot on. And you've seen him load that boot many times, especially last week here on NWA Sunday Night Main Event. Big double axe handle by Diablo on one of the clouds. Picking him up by his wig. Hope that's not his real hair. Big right head. You know, Tidwell, I've never seen Dante with a loaded boot. I don't know where you get that from. Have you ever seen him with his boot off? Uh, then how no. would you know? That's what I thought. Diablo now whipping a clown into the corner. The clown moves again. You'd think the, the big Spaniard would learn, but he still hasn't. Went charging full head of steam, the clown out of the way. Tags in his brother. Now, which one just came in the ring, as well? Was that Barnum or is it Bailey? It was the skinny one, whatever his name is. <laughs> all four men in the ring now. The clown's taking it to the devil's disciples. The disciples still got pile all over them. They won the clowns now back in Diablo into the corner. The other clown getting backed off by the rail. Whip it to the ropes there. And an unorthodox move by Diablo. That was a lot of raw power right there. The Devils, they've got power and finesse. That's why they're one of the greatest tag teams here in the NWA. Big shoulder to the gut there by Diablo. Picking up the clown. Big body slam right in the center of the ring. Finally, yeah. he tags in Dante, an easy name to say. I'm glad I invited you here, Richard. But Yeah, thanks for inviting me, by I, the way. I may not always agree with everything you have to say, though. But, but still, just stay right here, though. Don't you know, if, if you don't want to do this, Richard, you can leave and go wait in the waiting room. No. Well, I'm having a good time, too. Well, it's been a long time since I've been around, and I think I'll stick around. Sometimes that thing is for the best. The clown now. With a cover, the referee distracted. There's that uh -oh. loaded boot. Oh, no. Phil go, Al Del Greco. Three points for the Devils and probably the win here. One, two. The three count, the winners, the Devil's Disciples, with an assist from the loaded boot from Dante over Barnum and Bailey, the Clowns. Their oh. second the loss winners, here. The Devils. The Devils. Come on, Mike Rockwell. Speaking of Mike Rockwell, yeah. we've got coming up right after this segment the introduction of the new commissioner from Columbia, Tennessee. We'll be right back. Jay. They scoured the globe in search of the world's most extraordinary children, and they found them. Isn't that fantastic? Find out what makes them so exceptional. My office is in my mom's room. Your office is? At only 14, a special performance by Charlotte Church. And surprise, oh surprise. Plus, God. it's my favorite day of the week. It's Monday. That means we're giving away another $50,000. Next Oprah. Monday at 4. 
gasoline. Pretty much, you gotta have gas. Is one brand really better than the other? Regular gasoline is regular gasoline. And can you count on the pump to accurately give you what you're paying for? I was buying regular unleaded gas and being charged for premium unleaded. The top half is diesel fuel. The bottom half here is trash and water. Channel 4 is working for you with inside information, maximizing your mileage. Are you getting hosed at the pump? Monday on the scene at 6, Channel 4 News, working for you. Avoid construction and traffic tie-ups on area roads by logging on to WSMP.com. Up to the minute information will help you avoid delays. Don't get stuck in traffic. Log on to WSMP.com. It's Watson's $99 installation sale. Save up the half off. 24 foot pools, only $12.99. Sale prices on the world's largest and best spa manufacturer, Cal Spa. Tanning beds, just $9.99. Sale ends April 30th. Toyota has done it again. The Camry and Corolla are recommended best buys from Consumer Reports on 2,000 cars. Rivergate Toyota has both at the best prices in town. Drive a new Camry, only $1.89 a month, or own it for just $17.5. The economical Corolla is just $1.69 a month, or buy it for $12.5. Safe, reliable, and affordable. Camrys and Corollas from Rivergate Toyota on Gallatin Road, just south of Rivergate Mall in Nashville. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the new commissioner of the NWA, Mr. Mike Rockwell. <laughs> Mike, it's a very distinct pleasure of mine to introduce you to the NWA. As the new commissioner, you haven't been around that long, and a lot of people might not know exactly who you are. How did you get your job as commissioner of the NWA? That's right, Lee Tid. Well, a lot of people don't know my face, but I can assure you all you will real soon. Last weekend out of the fairgrounds, I was invited out in your absence to be guest ring announcer. After that night, I talked with Mike Porter, and we hit it off. We became good friends, and he says, Mike, I want you to be the new commissioner of the NWA, so that's why I'm here tonight. And I can tell you all, there's gonna be a lot of changes. There's gonna be some changes you're gonna like, and there are gonna be some changes you may not like. Well, speaking of changes, why don't you give us an example of some of the changes you're gonna make in the NWA? Well, we've got a lot of these guys, like Crippler Jeff Daniels, a lot of these guys like Y2K, they can't seem to keep their nose out of other people's business, right? Y2K was originally scheduled tonight to face the Wild Boys. But, but since they can't seem to keep their noses out of New South's business, right here in Columbia, Tennessee tonight, you're going to see Y2K face New South. Well, we've seen the way that Y2K and Jeff Daniels have stuck their nose in James Storm's matches, how they stuck their nose in the New South's matches. It's a good thing that you finally came out and did this. Y2K needs to be stopped. You guys want Y2K to be stopped? Yeah. You guys ready for that? You want to see him face New South tonight? Yeah. You're going to see it right here in this very ring tonight. New South, Y2K. New South and Y2K here tonight. Now, Y2K has stuck their nose in the New South's business. 